All right. Good morning, agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the director of training and marketing here, and we are going to go over uh, the Elevate system today. We're going to be joined by Rebecca from Elevate, and she's going to go through a whole bunch of great stuff that we were able to do with our new Elevate marketing system. So looking forward to that. Before we get into the presentation, I'm going to bring Bill Sykes, our corporate broker, on the line. Good morning, Bill. How are you? Good morning, Kevin. We're doing all right. All right. And I'm also going to bring on Debbie Sacconi from Clearly Mortgage. Was there anything you wanted to uh, to get into before we bring Debbie on the line today? Um, I was just uh, taking a look at the financials this morning. I think I think we talked about this really briefly last week. And as I do uh, several times a week, just being uh, in the finance uh, as we are in, in real estate and finance world. Um, it's interesting this morning, Kevin, they, they, you know, as we talked about last week, there was going to be some verbiage coming out of uh, the Fed and, and, and the chairman Powell about where rates are going and what's going to happen. And it, the headline is Powell says more restriction is coming, including possibility of hikes at consecutive meetings. And then the subtitle is treasure, treasury yields dip as traders assess rate outlook following Powell's remarks. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's interesting because the market actually, the 10 year treasury actually came down slightly today, even with those hawkish comments. So, you know, sometimes the market does one thing and the, the Fed's kind of saying other things. It, it's, you know, it, it's, it's bizarre. <laughs> sometimes we want to make total perfect sense of it and sometimes it doesn't make perfect sense but i think the takeaway is that uh, it's probably very likely that they're gonna um potentially look at raising rates further later this year when i think about three or four weeks ago we had seen some some headlines where it seems that they were considering that they were almost done so um for whatever reason they're still looking at that it's on the table but the market didn't react any, any in any crazy way as far as rates going up, actually rates are slightly on the lower side this morning. So, just something to keep an eye on. Of course, we will we will watch this closely as we as we do every week, and um, just something to be looking at. For sure. So, as these mortgage rates you know fluctuate, that's a huge deal for our our clients and for our prospective buyers. So. You know, being able to relay that information is like we talk about probably every week is just a really, really good way to provide value, right? Absolutely. You know, and um, I know Debbie's going to talk about uh, a really cool program for asset depletion, which, you know, as we have to get more and more creative about how we qualify, clients, um, she's going to get into that now. So that'll be a good little uh, way for everyone to understand another really fun, easy way to qualify somebody if they have other, you know, other issues on, um, you know, income and, and where the money's coming from. So I'll let her dig into that now. Yeah, let me bring Debbie on the line. All right. Good morning, Debbie. How are you doing today? I am doing fantastic. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> good morning, everyone. I'm Debbie Sacconi. Everybody kind of knows me as uh, Debbie Does Loans because I can't pronounce my last name, but I've been doing loans for all my life, almost 30 years. And, um, and with Bill and Kevin, uh, with you know the, the company since the conception, about seven years, maybe a little bit longer. So um, last week, I, I mean, that's for those of you that don't know me. <laughs> um, and so, you know, somebody who's been in the business a long time, like myself, we have, we have uh, uh, had all sorts of different types of situations hit us. And we have to have those types of financing available, or we have to try to figure it out, you know, first of all. And, you know, that really just takes listening to people trying to find out what do they need? Do they need down payment help? Do they need help with qualifying? Maybe they went to another lender and that lender just asked the simple questions. What's your income? Blah, blah, blah. 
And they just go, sorry, I can't, I can't get you to that price point because they didn't ask enough questions. So someone like myself that's been in this industry for a very long time, you know, I know what questions to ask. And by the way, uh, <clears throat> I really uh, enjoyed having a lot of you guys call me after last week's meeting. Um, it's, it really is uh, in this business these days, just figuring out stuff, problem solving. And one of the programs I talked about last week was zero down. So this is the flyer. Um, there was a little bit of a delay on, on getting it uh, for your open houses last weekend, but um, finally got it. So uh, Kevin can either send it to you or it's, it's on the screen I see. Uh, and this gives a little bit of the highlights. You can actually do this program on two units, a duplex. This is incredible. And, um, and also the loan amounts uh, for a duplex is like Orange County. And I think we figured San Diego. 929,850 max loan amount in those counties, Riverside and San Bernardino County. For a duplex, you can go up to 824,450. So you don't have to memorize that. Just give me a call. <laughs> and, um, but speaking of qualifying, <clears throat> you know, uh, Bill and I were talking about a client yesterday that, you know, we had some income coming from. Uh, you know, uh, other sources, but it wasn't going to be enough to qualify for the home that he wanted. And so we talked about asset depletion. And so asset depletion is basically figured on <clears throat> the assets they currently have. It could be liquid assets, it could be investments, money market, stocks, um, and we use 70% of whatever that total is, and then divide by 84 months. That's added income that can help that client qualify. For retired people, I've had this happen numerous times, and this will be the last point that I, that I uh, posed for this morning's meeting, but in their mind, they're retired, they receive a pension and social security. And that's the income that they're currently receiving because at this time, they don't need the half a million that's in their IRA. So guess what? They don't tell other loan officers that other loan officers don't ask, what other money do you have? Do you have any other retirement accounts? Because even though they're not drawing an income from <clears throat> that IRA account, we can still turn retirement income or, excuse me, retirement accounts into income to also help qualify. It's amazing what we can do. So if you need ideas, you're having an issue, or you just want to work with, you know, someone like myself that's excited about this business and, you know, just I'm thrilled every day that I wake up that I get to do this business. It's amazing. So give me a call if you need some help with anything. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and, uh, you know, be successful out there and enjoy what you're doing. You know it, Debbie. <laughs> That's the key, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. And I'll make sure to get the uh, the specs of this zero down program out to all the agents. I'll include that in the, the replay that I sent out this afternoon. All right. Perfect. Thank well, you so much. You're welcome, Deb. All right, cool. So next I'm going to bring on, uh, let's see here. If he is here. I just wanted to get a little update from our solar person here. Let me see if Rick Andrews here he was. Oh, here he is. All right. Good morning, Andrew. How are you today? Hey, good morning, Kevin. Good morning, agents. Yeah, we're excited that to get a little update on what's going on with the solar program. I know all, a lot of our agents are taking advantage of that and collecting that $2,500 uh, commission. So what's the latest? Yes, sir. Well, I wasn't exactly going through uh, financials this morning like Bill, but what I was doing was going through other people's money. And 
Now, where I'm going with this is I want to say congratulations to uh, Maria and Paul. They actually got two deals closed this week, so they picked up 5K. They also snagged one last week, so that's 7,500 on referrals recently. They've got another one in the pipeline, which is in the uh, permitting phase, so that'll be 10K coming their way. I just want to say keep up the great work to them. And uh, guys, I want you to keep in mind that this is a referral program. And there's a difference between how you typically think about, you know, referral checks versus uh, uh, commission checks. Generally, when you think about commissions, it just kind of clicks in your mind that there's a lot of work that needs to be done in order to, to earn that. So remember, the Solar Savers is strictly a referral program. We're doing all the heavy lifting for you on our end. So for all you new agents, this is a terrific perk of being part of the ARG family. All we require here for the Solar Savers program is to recite your version of what we call the four sentence script. Um, you know, and just, you know, once again, it's just some version of the following. Hey, do you want to reduce the energy costs on this home? I'm asking because we have a Solar Savers program here at ARG. We can get you a free solar system. We can save you a bunch of money on your energy costs. Would you like someone to give you a call? And that's it. From there, you just rope them into a three way text with me. And that's the entire process. And uh, as far as the state of the industry lately, you know, we've talked about the last few weeks that there's been a lot of recent changes in solar, that NEM 3.0 passed. We talked about the ways that we at the Solar Savers Program have adjusted to that uh, with the shift battery uh, and so forth, other methods that we've had. Uh, we also talked about the fact that in some areas, such as LADWP, that has 1 million homes there, that they are completely unaffected by the changes uh, of NEM 3.0. So the bottom line is we have many tools in our toolbox to deal with anyone's situation to get them solar, regardless of where they're located in California. And, you know, what's terrific is many of our competitors were unable to adjust for this. Um, it's a great time to keep going through your contacts, anyone in your sphere of influence. It's a great reason to touch base with them about real estate and just hit them with the four sentence script. So for you agents who are familiar with the program, I just wanna say this morning, keep those referrals coming in. You're doing great. I'd like to encourage some of you new guys to get up there on the board. You'll see it's some of the easiest money you've made. And uh, we're looking forward, Kevin, to getting some more referral checks going. Heck yeah, Andrew. And I just had a quick question. Does this program, I know obviously it works for homeowners, but does this work for businesses or commercial buildings or anything like that? Yeah, commercial is kind of a different animal. Yeah, um, I would imagine. It, it can work. It's just, you know, what what people love about this program is the simplicity of it that, hey, they don't, we don't have to qualify them. We don't need debt right. to income ratios. We don't need anything other than a soft credit check and they don't need to put any money uh, up front. So those factors don't exist in the commercial world. So, you know, it may be worthwhile entertaining this if it's a huge building with tons of panels, but uh, these deals take more time. So yeah. what what most people have found is, hey, let's keep it simple on the residential because it's really quick and it's, it's really easy. Right, so that's where that's where the, uh, the, the product lies. Yep. All right, good. Well, appreciate the uh, the update, Andrew. It's just a great deal. I'm really excited for our agents to, to be able to you know pick up that extra commission. Um, and again, it's another arrow in the quiver and another reason to stay in contact with your sphere of influence. Even if they don't get it, they're, you know, you made the phone call, you made the text, you made the effort to let them know that this exists. A lot of people don't even know that this is, exists or, or, you know, this program exists and that you can get a solar system with no money out of pocket, right? Yes, sir. And I don't think that's like common knowledge. So it's our job as the agents to get out there and to make those phone calls, rattle the cages. And, you know, that's exactly what these agents that have, you know, uh, you know, done that. They've done that and they've gotten the commission. So kudos to them. All right. Keep up the great work, guys. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot for the update, uh, Andrew. We will see you soon. Of course, if anybody needs to get a hold of Andrew, you can go and call him directly right here and his information will be on the replay as usual. All right, perfect. So let's get into the meat of our presentation today. I'm going to bring on Rebecca from Elevate. Good morning, Rebecca. How are you doing today? 
Good morning. Nice to join you guys this morning. I hope everybody is having a great morning. Uh, you know it. Every Wednesday, we have a, a nice little uh, inner office party at 9 a.m. So nice. All, we're right in the nice. thick of it. <laughs> Well, I would love to um, do a little bit of a demo and maybe walk through the platform with you guys, if that's possible today. Let's do um, that. I'm going to okay. I'm going to make you a panelist. So, perfect. You're going to upgrade yourself to panelist, and I think you need to unmute yourself, maybe. Um, let's see. Can you? Oh, there you are. Okay, there perfect. Is. Yeah, I don't know. I was being added as a panelist, I guess. So I'm in here now. Okay, perfect. You're in. Um, I'm in, all right, wonderful. I will go ahead and share my screen. Um, I wanted to see if there was somebody who would like to volunteer for me to go in and um, present their CRM. I need one to, uh, to use one as a demo and I don't really wanna use the broker one. Um, is there maybe an agent that would allow me to go in there and demo their CRM? Possibly, if there's anybody on the line that would like to do that, just raise your hand or just okay. put something in the chat. Oh, Charles is in, says yep. he'll volunteer. All right, Charles, thank Charles you. Charles is a team player. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay, all right, Charles, let's get into your account and then I'm gonna share my screen. Um, perfect, all right, perfect, this will work. All righty. Okay, looking good. All right. Yeah, uh, you can see my screen, okay? We can. Perfect. I don't know what I did here. What's going on? But all right. As long as you can see my screen, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> totally. Okay. Good. Perfect. All right. So this is the dashboard view of your CRM um, for Elevate CRM. How you get here is you go to crm.yourelevate.com and use your um, email address to log in. Um, it, you will, it'll give you the option to set up a new password if you don't remember or don't have one currently. So just use your email address to sign in and then this will be your dashboard view. Now, once you're in here, um, you can import your database. Um, if you have clients that you've worked with, um, you can import them with a CSV file. We have what we like to call a walled garden here at Elm Street. So any um, clients that you're importing into your CRM will be protected for your eyes only. Um, if your, your broker will be able to see your metrics, how often you've signed in, how many emails you've sent out, um, and that type of thing, but they won't be able to see specific details, nor will the other agents. So you can upload those contacts confidently knowing that this is just your view. So you would need to have them in a CSV file. Um, I know a lot of times agents that I speak with are like, I don't even know where to get a database from. You guys probably have that under control. Um, I suggest a lot of times that um, agents who are newer that have maybe been putting their clients in the MLS, that's a great place to start exporting any of your clients from the MLS and dropping them in. You can also import from um, your address book. So you can if you have a Google, Yahoo, Outlook, LinkedIn, AOL, you can import those email contacts from any of these um, address books right here. So let's go back to your dashboard view. Alrighty. So as you get new leads, so maybe somebody is coming off of your website and registered, or you have another lead source that you're getting, they'll be tallied here. If you've designated your clients as active, they'll be tallied here. Now, without having somebody in here, um, it's going to be hard to show, but we do have preloaded drip campaigns. I'm going to actually create yeah you can put me in as a client if you want <laughs> sure absolutely um so how about this let's see who's whose site am i in right now i'm in charles charles would you mind if i add you into your own site oh i'm a caps lock um so as you're adding your clients in Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Charles. Um, as you're adding your clients in, would, would you mind typing your email address? I'll put that in here for you as well. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, use oclakeside at gmail, right, Charles? Oh, Charles at oclakeside.com. Charles at oc. 
lakeside.com. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go down here and let's talk about a lead or a contact. In real estate, contacts are people that, you know, we know that we interact with and leads are people that we have not met. You can use this however you want to. Um, if you want to keep everybody as a lead, if you want to put everybody as a contact, the advantage of putting people in as a lead, though, um, allows you to put a source in here. If you put them in as a contact, that source is sort of blocked. Um, so if you put them in as a lead, let's say this is an open house lead. You could put open house. You can use any phrase, word, whatever you want to. I love to put all of my contacts in after an open house as open house. That way you can drop them on texting campaigns and email campaigns later. Um, but we'll put self in here since this is you, Charles. So I'm just going to put self as the source. There's lots of different, you could put the mailing address in there, birthday, you can use the anniversary date um, for maybe their closing date um, and all of that. So you have all of these fields to fill in. I'm just going to save you because you really only need the email address in there with the name. Now, now that we have Charles in here, I'm going to open him up and in that main activity page, you can add a search. Now, this is great when you're working with clients. Let's say you've got, you know, a handful of buyers that you're working with. We could only wish and hope. And um, we're going to pull up a search right here. Um, there's lots of filters in here, um, just like the MLS. Uh, but when you get to the bottom and you hit done, you're not done. You actually have to come in here and hit the red save search and name it. So you can name the search. So you could have multiple searches for uh, one client and maybe, you know, this is the refined search or the expanded search, or you can name it by cities or whatever. But once you've named the search and hit create, then you know um, that it is saved. Now, Charles, I'm not going to do it right now because I want to go over some other things, but I suggest you coming in here and saving a search for yourself because then as an agent, you see from the the client's perspective, what those morning reports look like. Any client that you have on a save search will receive a morning report. We generate it looking like it's coming from you. A lot of times, you know, it, myself included, clients will call me and say, because I come to this company with 10 years experience as a real estate agent myself. So I'll have clients say, oh, you know that email you sent me this morning in the morning report? I'll have to go back and check because it's automated. Any um, new homes in that search parameter, yes, you can draw a polygon map, absolutely. absolutely. Um, and, and you can um, nail it down to even subdivisions. If you look in the filters in here, you can go down to um, subdivisions even. So that is I mean, so key right there, Rebecca. We love to do micro-targeting, so that's micro really, really cool. Yeah. And here's another great way to use this. Let's say you've just closed on a client. Come in here and put a save search for their neighborhood. Now they've just invested in that neighborhood. And they'll the coming soons don't show up unless it's listed in the MLS. Um, so let's say you've just closed on a client. I put them on a save search with their subdivision. Let them know, hey, I know you're receiving properties from me during our search for your home, but now I've put you targeted just on your neighborhood any new listings, any solds, you're going to be the first to know. You'll be able to see all the listing pictures so you can be a nosy neighbor if you want to. But this is a great way for you to keep on top of your neighborhood. Most of my past clients love it um, and it keeps you top of mind because they're getting those morning reports from you and they're seeing what's happening in their neighborhood. Um, and, you know, top of mind equals referrals. So I do like using that save search for many reasons, not just for clients that I'm currently working with. Um, so that's that. Um, yep, the morning reports. So you'll, uh, it, when you get the morning report or when your client gets their morning reports, um, you'll also have a history and it'll say, uh, so now that I've put his email address in here, Charles, you've been automatically added to the eMERGE drip campaign and the mailing list. So um, every email address in your CRM will automatically get added to that. That's part of our automation that we have in there. Helps keep you top of mind with all of your clients. Um, and the drip campaign that you're added to is the monthly newsletter that everybody will receive that has an email within your CRM. That's contacts and leads. 
contact and leads. Yes, every email in there. Now, let's say you've just hosted an open house um, and you've got a handful of names and email addresses, maybe even phone numbers, and you're putting them in. Now you're putting that source as open house because you really want to make sure we draw, uh, can um, pull from that for these campaigns. So let's go in here and I'm just going to check the box in, in front of Charles' name. When I do that, it pulls up the supply action box. Now if he had 500 contacts in here, it would say apply action to all 500 or just the one. We're just going to pick the one for today, or maybe let's say a five if we had an open house roster we're working off of. Now I can go in here and go into the drip campaigns that we have preloaded for you in here and drop those open house leads right on a buyer seven day nurture campaign right from here. So that's kind of cool. You can also add tags in bulk. You can change their fields. If these are all potential buyers, you can add them all as buyers in here. Um, any of these statuses will bring up um, basically checklists within the contact card. Um, if it's an active client, it'll give you like tasks check in with your client today. Have you texted your client? Or if you're pending under contract, it'll give you kind of a under contract checklist to kind of work through. So that's where these different statuses really um, fall into place. Most people and most leads are um, classified as new until they you know, become active or engaged. If you're marketing to them, you could put that in there. It'll give you marketing updates um, and tasks and suggestions in there as well. So let's go back to this dashboard view. The tasks will, um, will come in here. Um, and then also here, you can kind of see what's been happening. Um, the latest things that have been happening will come up on your alarm right there. And the tasks that are generated will be right in here. Again, they're suggestions, but they're a great way to keep you on task. <laughs> now, if you want to put in a personal GCI goal in here, you can do that. Where you would do that within your own CRM is in your profile section. So when you click your profile section, you have that ability to edit your annual GCI goal right in there. Okay, now the reason that you might want to do it is because we create a little pie graph for you. We follow your closed sales. And then if you have your GCI goal in there, it'll create a little graph so you can look at it, you know, end of quarter three, beginning of quarter four, am I on goal? What do I need to do? Um, and it's just a nice visual to have on your dashboard. I treat the CRM dashboard like the hot sheets. I open the hot sheets every morning just to kind of see in the MLS what new listings, is there any expireds I want to focus on? And I do the same thing in here. Any new leads that I have, somebody might have come in off of your website and registered. Um, are there anybody that's active and what do I need to do? Then so when you go, go ahead. Real quick. Yes. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so um, this pulls data from the MLS and from your MLS uh, account, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay, great. And that's how it knows how to and, you know, match the, C, uh, the GCI and all that, right? Exactly. Also, we follow not only the office's MLS number, but all of the agents that are signed up underneath you. So if any agent has a new listing um, or a price change or just sold, it flags that um, MLS number and then we create a post for you with that um, information as well. So that's we follow your MLS number not only to track um, your financial data, but also to track all of your activity within the MLS so we can create those wonderful posts for you. And if there's a listing, will that be posted here as well? Yes. Yep. It'll be posted to the company's website and then also to the agents. Right. Because of course I noticed on my, on the uh, company dashboard, you know, I can see all of our listings. Yes, we do support multiple MLSs. Um, you, there is an additional charge for each additional MLS, but if you have it, we can set that up. Just kind of let us know. You can email support at tryelevate.com and let them know the MLS number. And um, I believe it's $15 per additional MLS, but I'm not sure that I would have billing check. Uh, they might have 
a different deal with you guys. Um, and but yes. some of the some of the MLSs are different, as you know. So some of them are different. We don't um, have all of the MLSs. Some of them don't cooperate well. But if we if we do have a relationship with them, we're more than happy to add you on to multiple MLSs. Too bad, it's, too bad it's such a racket. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do after that, so clients, if you do have um, a database that you want to import, you need a CSV file to import it. You can email it to support at tryelevate.com with your information in that email and we'll do it for you, or you can do it here. Um, and if it's something that maybe you guys want a tutorial on how to do it, um, if you have multiple agents that want to upload their database, I can even come on for your next meeting and walk you through that specifically um, on how to do that. Now the CMAs in here that we have um, are email specific. So I personally like using my CMA through my MLS because I can print it and all of that. These are great to present on a computer and a lot of people um, like to be paperless. So the CMAs are great. You're just going to um, select a client in there. If there's not already an MLS number or a property that you can pull from, you can add one in here. Then you go through and you add any pictures. It pulls from the MLS the comparables so you can pick. Um, and then you can email right from here to your client. Yeah, these are great, Rebecca. I've been messing around with these. These are yeah, awesome. They are, they are really cool. Good. I'm glad you like them. Now, the next section that we're going to go into is my site, and we're going to go into edit my site. All right. Now, in the back end of your website here, um, you can make some changes if you want to, um, but we just ask if there's any major changes just to let us know and we'll take care of that for you. That's not a problem. The two sections that I really want to focus on in here are social media and blogging. So under social media, set up syndication. When you guys onboarded, um, they set up your syndication right now. It looks like Charles has his Facebook syndicated. Charles, if you have any additional, um, oh, actually, it doesn't look like you have anything syndicated. So Charles, this is something that if you have your own personal Facebook page, because this is set up to go to Ulta's um, social media pages as well. So if you have your own personal Facebook page or Twitter or LinkedIn that you would like to sh um, share the social media links to, you can do that here as well. Um, and Charles, and and Charles, I'll get you set up with a uh, with a uh, onboarding meeting with uh, I think it's probably with Alec, right? Yes, with Alec. Yep. All right. Perfect. So that's that section. Um, now we're going to go down to the blog and the blog posts. Um, now, these are the blog posts that we are creating for you. Once you go through the onboarding and get that social media set up, it depends on how you're going to want it. Uh, another property sold. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Um, if we had this syndicated, it would not only go to your blog section of your website, which is where it is now, but it would also go to all of your social media pages as well. So that's the advantage of getting that syndicated. I know that we had that conversation about to syndicate or not to syndicate. Um, and, you know, I'm sure that you'll take care of that with all of your agents. Oh, yeah. And, it's, it's, especially for the individual agents, the syndication is absolutely key. Yes. But just, just remember, agents, that all of the, you know, this stuff is being pulled from the MLS. And so make sure that you're using professional photography so your Correct. stuff looks good. <laughs> because Correct. It, because it's going to get syndicated everywhere, you know. So everywhere. Yes. Yes. With that in mind, you know, everybody knows I'm a stickler uh, about professional photography on this call, but uh, I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> I agree with you about it. I agree with you 100%. I'm in your corner. So now we also have um, a blog library that you can pull from. So now you, let me just check in here. Every agent's going to be different as well as the office. It looks like you're set up for Mondays for your general interest article. Once you're syndicated, this will really um, help with your online presence. It'll go to all of your social media channels. So on Mondays, you're going to get a general interest article. Every other day of the week, if you want to come into the blog library, it's summertime now officially. I'm going to type summer into the search bar, summer planning ideas, summer lunch ideas for entertaining, 
epic outdoor summer party ideas, let's preview this one. Now, once you preview it, and you see, you know, okay, I like the way that this looks, you can just hit publish and put it out there. It'll publish, it'll syndicate out to all your social media channels. But let's say you just had an epic party and you wanna add your own picture to it. We can edit any of these. So you can add your own media. You can come in here and maybe like take out a section, add a section. Um, I have agents who pull up our landscaping um, blog post and they'll shout out their landscaper in it and link their URL to their website. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can use our blog post for business. Um, if you do referral business, this is a great way to kind of shout out other businesses um, or just get additional information out to your sphere. In addition to the blog library that we have, so that that's kind of like um, auto drive, you don't really have to think about anything, you can just pick a blog post and publish it. We also give you the ability to create your own blog posts. So maybe Ulta gives you um, a graphic on how the brokerage is doing versus other brokerages. Or maybe you have a twilight open house, or you want to shout out a business in your area, or you want to talk about yourself. You can even do video blogging in here. If you're doing video blogging, you have to host the video on YouTube. Then you take that link from YouTube and come over here, put a thumbnail in, link that YouTube video, maybe put some wording in here about, um, you know, this video is regarding whatever, like the current market, my, my thoughts on the current market or something like that. You can add that in there. And then now you've got a video blog as well. I'm gonna preview this for you so you can see what it looks like. Blogs, uh, your, your own unique blogs can really gather a lot of business. If you're speaking about a specific property, put that full address, in that um, title bar right here where we have preview, maybe, you know, um, another new listing by Charles, and then 123 Main Street or something like that. Because if somebody is searching 123 Main Street, they're going to be directed to your blog post that is hosted on your website that has lead capture information. So this is another way to gather organic leads this way. Um, I have an agent that's built an entire business around referrals based on going to restaurants in her area and giving them, you know, raving reviews and putting pictures of all of her meals and, you know, talking with the manager or whatever and like putting that out there. People love those posts um, and she's gained a lot of business um, with them. So just things to think about. But we've got the title here, your byline, social media links if you have them connected, um, and then whatever content you've put in here. And then your about section is at the bottom there, which is really nice. It's a quick, fast and easy way to get um, information out, not only to your website, but all your social media links once you're syndicated. The only thing that I want you guys to think about is after you've previewed it, you want to come to the status bar and change it from draft to published. Then you hit create and you're good to go. Now let's say it's a rainy afternoon, you're feeling creative, you don't have any clients and you want to work on your business. You can come in here and create a bunch of blog posts, maybe you know, different ones regarding the market or short video blogs or whatever you want to do and, and put them in here and then come back and publish them at a later point. Um, you do have that ability to save the drafts in here. Can you schedule? So, no. <laughs> Yeah. You cannot schedule the drafts. I have another section where you can schedule certain things, but in that section, you cannot schedule. We are working on it. It is a suggestion, um, and hopefully that will be ro uh, rolling out soon because scheduling is key. You, you knew that was coming, though, right? I knew, because <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could schedule mine as well. Um, okay, so my uh, we went into the My Site. We went into the Profile section. Oh, I do want to show you one more thing in your Profile section, agents. So up in the upper right-hand corner, um, the three dots, the ellipsis here, we'll have your notification preferences. Mm. We set it up where you're getting an email anytime a lead or a client does anything within your system. Um, we also have have it set up we're getting a text when you get a new client or a client contacts you now 
Agents sometimes prefer to get text instead of emails. So you can come in here and change that and get a text if you want. If you're really rocking and rolling and using our system quite a bit, you might not want an email every time an, a client clicks on an, a link or opens an email. So you can come over here and X out of those so you're not getting those notifications. But usually after agents are using our system for a month or two, they're like, I don't need all of these emails. <laughs> so this is, where you, this is where you can come and get rid of them so you don't have that. But it is really, it's a great um, a tool to help you stay on top of your clients in the CRM. For sure. I, I, I think you're right. Keep it, you know, uh, all the notifications until yes. it gets a little annoying. Exactly. Then you can adjust. Exactly. All right. So now the next section I'm going to go to under integrations in the main navigational menu is eMERGE. Now, when we click on eMERGE, it brings us over here. This is kind of where we create a lot of the automation for the system. Now, um, Every contact that you have in your CRM will automatically get put into eMERGE as well. It's, they just work hand in hand. So you can see the one new contact, Charles, we added you in here and now you're in eMERGE. So we also have a content library in eMERGE and we have articles in here. Now I love these articles. I wish they linked back to the website like the blog posts do, but they do not. Um, but you still can use them in creative ways. We have a huge amount of categories of articles in here. I had an agent that I work with that um, liked our home improvements articles. So she came in here and picked eight of them, eight of these articles. And then what she did was, now this is after you're onboarded and your social media links are connected, okay? So what she did in here is she came in here and clicked on Facebook. And with Facebook, she put, um, on the first one, this is one of eight in a series. Come to my Facebook page every Saturday at 10 um, to find new ways to um, improve your home. And so she did that with article one. Then she scheduled it for that following Saturday at 10 a.m. And then she repeated this with seven other articles for seven or for eight consecutive sat Saturdays, and she scheduled them. So these articles you can schedule. You can only share um, with one social media link at a time. So if it was if you wanted to do that to all of your social media links, you'd have to repeat that process with every single um, link there. But it's a really great way. It takes about five minutes to set it up. And let's say you've picked eight articles, you're putting a series out there for the next two months, you have a home improvements article going out to your social media channel, or you can email it to your sphere, because now all of your contacts will be receiving that as well. Um, once a week, and you can schedule out the emails as well. So we give you that um, ability in here with this content. Again, it doesn't circle back to your website, which is the one negative, but it does allow you to post a lot of content out there and schedule it. <laughs> nice. Now, under campaigns and workflows in here, we have consumer touch. Now this consumer touch is what we call the monthly newsletter. Now, Charles, yours is set to go out the third Thursday of every month. You're going to be the only one receiving it until you import your contacts in there. Um, but you will receive that. If you get your contacts in before Thursday, July 20th, everybody will receive your monthly newsletter. Now, we do send you a, um, an email draft about five days beforehand. We'll email that to you um, in case you want to edit it in any way. So for the agents who do have the DMS platform, um, you will, your monthly newsletter will be going out once a month as well to any contacts that you have in your CRM. Um, the first email that's going to go out will have this introductory. It, the name will be automatically put in there from your contact list. Um, it's just an introductory. It, every month, I'm going to be sending out an email full of useful, helpful content. Um, and then, you know, it introduces you and gives your phone number there. Now we've got a moving article, a lifestyle article, and a travel article. And then the best part is we have your call to actions at the bottom. View listings, view website, or schedule a conversation with you. Now, we have um, different ways to edit this newsletter. If you don't edit it, it will go out like this every month with the Alta 
um, logo at the top of every newsletter, and then it'll have three articles and then your call to action at the bottom. If you have, let's say next month, um, you have a coming soon listing that you want to showcase. You can come over here to the components, drag that over. I'm going to put it right under the hello section. Now you can put all of the information in here, drop a picture. If it's in the MLS already, you can add the URL. If it's not, you can just add all of the information coming soon. And then it does have a call to action built in to get a schedule of showing so that contacts you via email and text. Um, so that way you have that right in there. There's lots of ways to edit the newsletter if you want to. Um, you can even put like a little video blog in here at the bottom if you want to keep it permanent in there. Um, you, know, you could just pull that over and um, and then have that in here as well. So there's lots of ways to edit the newsletter, but if you don't do anything, if you're busy one month, hopefully you've got a ton of clients and you're like, I didn't get to my newsletter, it's fine. It will still go out every month with three articles and your call to action at the bottom. Now, also in the email section of eMERGE, we have our autoresponders. This is what we call our drip campaign. So here's where we keep them, autoresponders under eMERGE in the email section. We have a seller seven-day nurture, a buyer seven-day nurture, and a buy-sell lead campaign. The buyer seven-day nurture is the is great for after open houses. The greatest part is you can come in here and edit the templates and change them to your wording if you want. Um, I really like um, the, the sixth email in here. Um, I, I did change all of these a little bit to reflect my verbiage and I do suggest that just it comes across more genuine. Um, but I love it, I left most of it because it's like, have I dropped the ball? Imagine an open house um, lead getting this maybe a week after you've met them. Um, you get a lot of um, uh, feedback from them. You know, I, I talk to agents all the time. Everybody loves this email that goes out because a lot of those leads will be like, no, you, I haven't, you haven't dropped the ball. I'm still looking. I'm in the process, whatever. Um, so it does, you know, create that action. But you can come in here and edit these. You can also change the settings and the actions if you want. Um, so if you want them to go out every other day instead of every day um, or every third day, you can change that in here. We also give you the ability to create your own drip campaigns. Um, now, this is usually something that we would do either um, a specific meeting just for this. I could, if there's a, a handful of agents that want to learn how to do this, we can schedule a meeting just for this. It takes about a half hour the first time, but then once you get used to it, um, it's fairly quick to, to, to create your own. And I do know that um, they are creating tutorial videos for agents to kind of walk themselves through that process as well. Now I'm gonna go back to the main navigational menu again, and I'm gonna go down to campaigns. So under campaigns, we have email templates. We have a bunch of e email templates that we've created for you. And we also give you the ability to create your own email template. You can tag the email templates, let's say past clients. Maybe you want to create an email template for all of your past clients. Um, you have to name the email. It's not the name of the person that's receiving it. But um, so anyways, maybe you want to create an email template for past clients. And then within your um, client card, you've tagged them all as past clients. It's a very easy way to put them all on that email campaign. Um, so in here, you have the ability to tag out your contacts. We're gonna go into their profile. And right here is where you can add any word or phrase and put as many tags in there as you want. Also, right in here, because I, I do have Charles's email address, I can choose a template from the templates right in here. Maybe, you know, like you just um, called them and I just tried to reach you. That will populate right in here. Um, also, if you wanted to, you could just create your own um, message and email them right from the contact card as well. Alrighty, just wanted to show you that. 
Now, here's the one thing that when we do, when you're, um, Kevin, when you are making sure that all of your agents are onboarded, we want to make sure that all of their email signatures are compliant. This does have Alter Group in here, and I'm glad for it. Okay, good. We just want to make sure that everybody's email signature reflects that. We also can add the Ulta um, logo in here if that's something that you would like to do. Anything that you want to add, you can add call to action buttons in here, um, edit them change the color, however you want to do that. Um, you can do that. I have an agent that added like five call to action buttons in their email signature because they wanted to link all of their social media pages and their website. Sure, so you can, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you could add as many as you want. You can change the text, the colors, add images. But when you're done in here, um, just make sure that you hit save at the bottom because it's not an auto save section. Got it. And then one thing that I'm noticing is just always uh, add your DRE number to your signature line. There you go. We want to make sure you're compliant. Yeah, <laughs> so totally. that go in there and you guys can edit yourself right from the email signature. Just hit save. Perfect. Now, the last thing within this section I want to talk about are the texting campaigns. We've preloaded a couple for you as well. So when somebody comes in off of your website, another reason to promote your website everywhere you go on your business cards, put it on your social media, say, you know, ask your friends and family to create a, an account in there and follow your website. Um, if they do have a phone number, they'll be put on a a texting campaign for you. Um, and then we also give you the ability to create your own texting campaign. So again, when I was creating Charles in there, I put self as source, but you could put open house as source and then pull from, um, see self right here. If I wanted to send a text just to Charles, I could pull that in right there. Um, so it does pull by the source um, right in here. And then you can do up to a 30 day campaign. It doesn't have to be 30 days in a row. It could be day one, day five, and then maybe a follow up on day 25. Um, but you do have that ability. And if you want to look and what the current campaign is, just click on the pencil and then you can click on the pencil on any of the days to see what it says. I would like to see how I can help you find your dream home. When is a good time to connect? Um, that's the first text that goes out uh, for the buyer campaign. So you can um, look at those just by clicking on the pencil of any of them. Now, the very bottom of the navigational menu is our help center. I have, this a, quick, is a, I have a quick, fun question about the text. Um, oh, sure. Yeah. So when that text goes out, how do you receive the text back? Does it come back as a text or do you? Great question. Yeah. I love that. So we do use your voice over IP number to text out. Um, we use it as a level of protection um, for our clients because some of these leads that come in, you know, are internet leads or maybe you haven't met them yet. Um, and we we use the VOIP number as like a business number. So the text will go out on that. Um, and as they're coming back in, you will have them in the communication section. You're going to get that email that says, you know, this client sent you a text. You can open up their card and then you can see it all in the communication section there. If you are able to engage with them at that point, we do suggest then you say, hey, you know, you're communicating with me on my business line. Here's my personal cell phone number. Let's take it over there. And you have, you know, my, my direct line. Sure. Um, but, but using that VOIP number, if you call or text through, if we, if we put uh, Charles's number in here, um, these buttons would be blue and you could call or text through the contact card, but it does use that VOIP number. Um, and then all that communication would come back through the communication here, as opposed to directly to your cell phone, you'll get that email or text depending on how your notifications are set up but it's a good source I and mean, it's a good way to use it initially until you you know make that connection with them and then give them your cell phone number That's but perfect. if they're looking at um, your website you do have your personal phone number you know listed right there as well sure. so if they're signing up um, and they're getting put on that texting campaign it'll come through as a business number but if they did want to get a hold of you that information is right there on your website as well so that's kind of our general overview of the system. Um, you know, let me know if there's any topics that you really want to dig into. Oh, let me show you the help center. So the help center itself here, we like to utilize this for our agents a lot because let's just say this texting campaign tool right here. It's on the front page. If I, if I um, looked for it, it would be pulling up here as well. Um, but 
let's just pull it up. It has a short little like two and a half minute tutorial video. And then it has the full step by step guide. So you click here, click there, you pick one of those, pull from the source. After that, this is what you're going to do. Um, so it does give you that full guide on how to go through that whole texting campaign. Anything that you could potentially need, we, we have tried to be proactive and put that in here. So we suggest maybe like looking in the help center first, but if it's something that your team really needs a tutorial, like for me to walk you through it, maybe a drip campaign or um, you know anything like that, we can always, I'd, I'd be happy to join one of your meetings in the future and we can walk through something specific. No, that's great, Rebecca. That's kind of what I envisioned is we'll, we'll have you come on back periodically and we can go through specific stuff. Yeah, uh, wonderful. Yeah, so agents, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. If 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 you have not taken advantage of the uh, DMS uh, program yet, you're certainly welcome to contact me directly. And really, all you have to do is go into your uh, into your ARGHome.net um, account and just upgrade your subscription to level three or to program three. Um, but you can also just give me a call. I can make sure that we get you set up and, of course, get you set up with a, uh, an appointment with an onboarding rep at Elevate. So don't hesitate to contact me, and I will make sure that we accommodate you. So agents, thanks so much for coming on the line, and I look forward to having you guys all on the webinar next week. So get out there, make it a great week and a productive week, and we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.